worried there, but the bookies have got Michael Smith as the 5-4 to four on favourites here, but they're finding it difficult to split them. Their prediction is this is another tight match. I can see why they've gone for Michael. It's difficult to analyse sometimes, as we mentioned earlier in, in the show, when we've had 24, 25 days break from the World Championships. We don't know what practice they've been putting in or what rest. You know, this is the first tournament of the season. Try and analyse players is very difficult, but Michael had, you know, despite that second round loss, had a fantastic tournament. He played really well against Rob Cross, had two darts to beat him, as we know. But for me, Mensa, since he won that Champions League, his first TV title, has kind of gone off the radar a little bit. Yeah, we kind of thought he was going to kick on, didn't we? We thought it was the, the old pressure off and that he was going to really establish himself as a leading player. Not quite, though, and there's Michael Smith. Hammering in the first 180 of the match. Mensor Suljevic started as a youngster. Playing in Vienna. Concentrated entirely on 19s as a young club player and had to sort of reinvent his game as he started to progress. When you look at the strange things he does in a match, I can believe that. Double 14, his favourite checkout, isn't he? I think he's the only, I think he's the only darter who habitually leaves it on that particular double. Yeah, you probably get a few people in the pub leagues that have to have well, double start, maybe 14. go down the side. It's a strange one, isn't it? Because it's not one you genuinely leave. So 140. That's a great first dart, great second dart. Double 10. A bit excited there on double 10. Pulled it a little bit to the right. So chance here for Sulevic to hold throw. He went for the 25, but he hit the ball. Double four then. Just resetting, big dart this, and a big performance, that's a good double. So Sulevic taking the advantage. We see it a lot in the game nowadays, don't we, John? Rob Cross particularly, and we've seen recently, where players, when they get on a double, they stop and just refocus, and then tend to hit it more often than not, whereas in the past it was always that perpetual motion kind of throw. Up to the quarterfinals last year, Sulevic beat Jelle Klassen in the first round, then lost to Michael Van Gerwen. Got beaten 10 4. He averaged 103, but wound up on the losing side. Yeah, this is Michael's third appearance, as you said. He's only won one game here, hasn't he? 2016. Mensor didn't stand particularly close to the razor this morning, does he? I don't know if that's the beginning of a goatee. 41. Or whether he just didn't fancy the cold steel across his chin. He's a little bit behind Michaels. Not happy with the first two there. 16. Lost his range very early on in the visit. Talking of facial hair, that's a good one. Neatly trimmed, Michael Smith's tonsorial magnificence. Should be called the gladiator. Well, it's still advantage Smith to hold his throw here. Ten forty had helped. Well, can't be done now. Has he got that in? He might go for twenty-five here. Oh, he's got it. Good dart. Yeah, should do really. Left to finish. If he'd gone for single twenty, uh, the treble twenty and hit a single, wouldn't have left a double. So good thinking early on in the match. Thirty-eight. Well, that's not what he uh, required, is it? So, Suljevic with a little bit of a glimmer of hope here, because if he puts, even if he misses it, gets a good visit here, Smith's 106 will be under big pressure. Needs a treble. Kind of blocked out there. It's just about OK. Smith, they'll be thinking in his head, he may not get another visit, so needs to take it out, and he hasn't done. Didn't really frighten that treble 18. So 70. Trouble 14, double 14 he was looking for. Double 18. Oh, good dart. Good dart indeed. Yeah, he almost wasn't sure in the middle of that throw, wasn't he? He looked up, looked down and went back up again. It paid dividends. Yeah, the eyes are always a giveaway, aren't they, when the cogs are turning weighing up the alternatives. 
Mansour lost in the last 16 of the World Championships to the brilliant young Belgian Dimitri van den Berg. A good young player he is. Oh, what a tournament he had, what a season he's had really. Go Model on. professional really, John. Yeah, going to go a long way, isn't he? A lot of people thought maybe that the Premier League would have been a good thing for him. But then again, maybe at this stage of his career, perhaps just a little bit too soon, and maybe another year will just give him that opportunity to mature as a player and he'll be that little bit stronger. I totally agree, yeah. Too early. Let's see what the start of this season and the rest of it has for him. Certainly got himself a name, as did Jamie Lewis. Good yeah, to see him. Well, he's been showing signs for years, but this time he's managed to do it. That's well, not a bad visit, but Mensor now with 161. Treble 20 is looking for. Not to be this time. Just looking at a decent setup. Yeah, Treble 16 should be the visit here. Treble 20 normally, but it looks like it's blocked. He'll go for the bull even. I think he went for the bull there. 84. So, 208. Great first dart. Oh, that's unlucky. That was so unlucky, the second dart. So much a rhythm player, Michael, isn't he? When he gets that first dart in, you almost expect at least another one to go in. Oh, great first dart. He's been getting his doubles. And he's done it again. That's three out of four. And he's 3 0 up. Great start by Sulevic. Yeah, exceptional finishing. Not the obvious, just winning the leg, but he's denying his opponent another visit to the board. And when that happens, you almost feel like you're fighting an uphill battle. He used to be a basketball player as a kid, Menso. Big lad, isn't he? Stand something like six foot four. Certainly a crowd favourite now, isn't he? Yeah, he's Certainly become after so, that yeah. win. He's just he's really got some stick a few years ago, being a slow player. He seems to have turned that around and, and got the crowd on his side. Nice to see the uh, judiciary here calling for best of order at the darts. As ever, we have a, a, a wonderful array of uh, hats and headdresses and fancy dress all making it a special night out a night of smiles that's my brother she said well, i think so i think that's what she said <laughs> oh, lovely darts from mensor Sulevic. it's important that smith holds his throw here bullseye well this is a great opportunity for another break of throw well he's been piling the pressure on every single leg and when he's had the opportunity He's taken it. Trouble. Would have left double seven if it's hit. Yes, double seven. Well, there we go again, John. Absolutely fantastic on the doubles, and Michael smiling away there. Oh, quality stuff, isn't it? Sulevich. Four out of five on doubles, not a lot between them on averages. Smith averaging over 102, but nil out of two. And Sulevich, who in scoring terms has been outthrown, is 4 0 up and a break at the end of this leg. And he goes into it 5 0. Well, it's first to 10, of course. But it is going to be a massive job for him to claw back. Well, Michael's played pretty well in the match, but he's had, as you can see, the doubles there. He's been feeding on scraps in the finishing part of the leg. He had a shot at ball a couple of legs ago. It's just not happened, has it? Standing up because they love the darts as ever. Last game was an absolute thriller. Roy Hodgson and Michael Jackson, not people you see together very often. Great darts again from Sulevich, lead himself a finish. Michael Smith really needs to take this leg, otherwise, we'd be going into that break feeling very despondent and very negative well 151 then and he's got six darts from here treble 17 at leave tops he's not got it this time but he'll get another opportunity 91 all michael can do here is try and leave the best possible finish if he gets the chance to return to the board 
Otherwise, it could be 5 0 at the break to Sulevich. Left himself on Shanghai if he gets the opportunity. Sulevich then, 60. The dart, two darts at tops. And only he one required. That is brilliant Mr. finishing Sulevich. once again from Sulevich. He's had five successes out of six attempts. Michael Smith isn't throwing badly, but Sulevich is finishing. He's playing pretty well, that's the only positive. But his finishing chances have been very minimal. Mensah has reduced him just to two opportunities, which he's been able to take. But starts with a maximum after the break. Smith's second maximum. Sometimes you see players come back from the break inspired, rejuvenated. We saw in the last match a 7-3 lead to Raymond van Barneveld and then Chisnell put together legs on the spin. And before you knew where you were, it was going right to the wire. How Smith would like to produce something similar right now. Yes, the scoreline is difficult. I think the key for me is the fact that he's still playing pretty well. Averaging 104, losing 5-0 just needs to focus on small portions of this match and the first one is to take this one the first after the break with throw he has to take this one he's annoyed with that particular visit chuntering away to himself he's left himself on 167 which can be done but he was hoping to make far greater inroads that's a good visit from big Mansour, the gentle we'll finish this time but that's a nice setup Yes, wonderful setup. Now needs to get that first leg on the board. He doesn't want to be thinking he's got plenty of time to finish this leg. He wants to get it done pretty quickly and then move straight on to the next one. 36 then, double nine. And he's decided to go two double eight and missed it. Last time they played in the Gibraltar Trophy, Michael won 6-4 in the final to pick up his seventh PDC ranking title. Well, he was so far in the leg, after that miss, he's put himself under pressure here, because Sulevich has left top, but booked out from Michael Smith, you can see the reaction, more of relief, but he deserved the leg. 17 dart leg, and he knows that uh, he almost threw that away, and you can see it written all over his face, come on, you know you can finish better than this, he's throwing well, but you're not just getting the finer points, the details sorted out. It's strange. Only, oh, sorry, yeah, it's only a, one double out of seven. Yeah, it's a strange one, isn't it? He's averaging well over 100 at the break, losing 5 0. He wins his first leg. He's only averaging 97. Yeah, a strange double. world of statistics. Missed doubles, isn't it? 100. Yeah. First out. Won't be happy with that second one. So a chance opportunity here for Michael Smith. Now we need 140, eh? He just can't get that first dart. He's a rhythm player, isn't he? A lot, like a lot of other players, just need to hit that top wire and leave all the bed open. Huge interest in darts at the moment and uh, at the PDC Awards dinner in London this week Barry Hearn top man of the PDC was saying how ticket sales are up by some 20% for this event on last year and there's a great Friday night crowd in here as you look back from the stage there very very few empty spaces and sold, sold out on Saturday as well it just shows you that only needs double 18 to six one ahead which he hits again Finishing to an impeccable for Sulevich. But it uh, just shows it that it does take a couple of years for venues to get really well established. Darts is, everybody wants to go and see the darts now, don't they? Such a great place to be. Great atmosphere, party atmosphere with world class sport. Wonderful viewing figures, both here and abroad. I did see a report somewhere that there were over 3 million watching in Germany for the final of the PDC World Championship. 
goes to show the worldwide appeal of the sport. That's a great response from Smith. A very high percentage of the ticket sales for the world as well go yeah. around Europe. Indeed. Fantastic, really. It shows you that it's now a worldwide sport. It's got the World Series, well, series as well, making some great strides and getting some momentum around the world. Smith's throw under huge pressure again. That last dart was absolutely key. Giving him a chance, but if Sulevich gets a big visit here, that 130 is going to look a tough ask. Not finding the treble. Well, now this is a chance for Smith to extricate himself from the mire. Yeah, he's kind of just holding on to his own throw. He needs to stay there. He needs the ball! And he hits the ball! Bully boy. Great finish. Beautiful check out. And a reminder of what the 2013 World Youth Champion Michael Smith is capable of. That's a great three from Suljevic. His third maximum. How about that for a response? That's what the crowd love to see. A player hits a maximum and then his opponent strikes straight back. Theatrical pantomime boos from the crowd who has ever a, a yearning to see a nine data. Let's see what Smith can make of it now. And he also misses that treble 20. So normal service resumed. Smith furious that he's just not finding consistency Alan I think it was difficult in that first half because he know he played well it just was limited to very few opportunities on the double and going in at 5-0 he would have been very despondent he came out fire and hit a maximum with the first three took that first leg he's just about hanging in there at the moment but it's a very very tall order and you've got a player of Sulevich's capabilities and averaging Almost 105, very hard to break back. 84 he's requiring, 19 would leave tops now for 7-2. Again, steps back, steadies himself, refocuses, and this What's time doesn't there? nail it. Thought he was in. Yeah, it's one of the few opportunities when he's missed with that last dart. So this is a big one for Michael Smith, but he's not hit the treble 19. So tops now for Sulevich for 7-2. He's got six doubles out of eight. 75% checkout rate. Is it going to continue? Double 10. Lewis takes his time. Great dance. He's loving his finishing tonight. You can see he's pumped up, charged up the fist bump as that went in. Yeah, once you get so far ahead, you almost don't put any pressure on yourself. And you can see in that moment there, he just didn't look like he was going to miss. He didn't look phased at all. Whereas Michael's just giving himself a hard time. And he doesn't need to, really, because he's been playing badly. Let's check out. 5 nil down, it's just hard to come back from. Mensor, 7 out of 10. No, any, player would, any player would welcome that. Fantastic. Outstanding. Anything over 60%, well, no, really. Two out of three. Brilliant. And it's putting Sulevich in the driver's seat. He only needs three more legs now. And he's through well, no, to take on the winner of Rob Cross and Ian White. That's our next match here in Milton Keynes tonight. Yeah, it'll be great to see the new no, world champion so. strutting his stuff on the stage for the first time. So relaxed. I was just chatting to him before we came out here, before we stepped into the box. I saw him backstage and, you know, you'd think, so relaxed. I was just chatting to him before we came out here, before we stepped into the box. I saw him backstage and, you know, you'd think he was heading for another little session on the practice board. He's so composed, doesn't seem in the least bit phased by anything or the incredible What's level of saying? attention, of course, that he's been getting since taking that world title. Yeah, that's why he's achieved what he's achieved last year. Especially that title at the end of the season. Incredible, really. He's got the game, he's got the mental part of the game as well. Breaks on again for Sulevich. That's six darts from 180. For once he can't find the trouble. Well, he's left himself Shanghai. Michael Smith 
has to take this leg if he can go in at the break. 7 3 with a maximum. That'll help things. It's all down to Sulevich now. He shrugged his shoulders and said as much as to say, well, where's it been? Anyway, that's the treble. Now the single. Now the double. This is for 8 2. Oh, he grazed the wire. Well, Michael Smith would have been stood back there hoping and hoping and hoping and he eventually gets the double. He didn't look like he was in a good phase of the match, but eventually Mensor misses the double. Michael Smith steps in. He can nail some doubles. Sulevich with the darts, both of them averaging over the ton mark. Sulevich 7-3 up. Yeah, it's been a great start to the tournament. First one with Barney and Chizzy, and this one here, both players averaging over 100. And from Michael Smith's point of view, he won that session 3-2, as he starts this leg with the maximum, as he did in the previous one. That's his fourth, his fifth, I beg your pardon. They're going in with regularity now, I'm losing, uh, losing count. Eight in the match altogether. 100. So can he build on it? Rhythmic throw. Yeah, not happy with the first dart, was he? Kind of dragged it back a little bit with hitting the treble with the last dart. He has to start taking legs against the throw. If he's got any chance in this match. Brilliant. Fourth maximum for Mensor. That idiosyncratic throwing style. Serving him well tonight, nine darts thrown, he's on 96, potential 11 darter. And both very doable finishes, players of this quality. Double 16, and his favourite, double 14, and he's missed it. Well, he'd have fancied that one. So, well, he'll go for bull here in the hope of getting 25, which he has done, treble 20 he wanted, he's got it, now tops! 85. Oh, can't believe how high that was, can he? He looked like the rhythm was there, he looked like he was throwing pretty quick. Double seven. Such an important leg in the match, this one. And that is a really important checkout, and look how much it means. Mensor knew that was a key moment, he was under big pressure, held his nerve, and now only needs two more legs. Yeah, he knew Michael would come out from that break, fighting away. He had a small opportunity there. It was a long way off that one, two, five for the tops. Yeah, that was a, a dart which cost 55. him dear. So, Smith now, well, obviously has to hold his throw. But he has to take the opportunities when they come against the Sulevich throw, and that's where he's been falling short tonight, and he's running out of time. Yeah, he fought well there, didn't he? Gave himself the opportunity, well, but if you don't take it in the end. One hundred and twenty-three. The dance. Two trouble twenties now. With leave a finish. Or 19 even. Oh, wonderful darts. Leaves the big one. So 144. No finish now for Smith. So he's just got to watch and hope that Sulevich doesn't get out the biggest checkout that you can. Well, if he gets the first one, no doubt we'll get a response from the crowd. Not to be. So. Both players, John, will be in the Premier League this 94. year. Debut for Mensa. Michael Smith makes his return. Tops for Smith, yes. 8-4, but it's only a hold of throw. Now he needs to, again, do as he did in the last leg, put the silly bit throw under pressure, but then when the opportunity comes, if it comes, he desperately needs to take it. Yeah, he's got to try and give himself as many opportunities as possible. But the key, obviously... He's taking them. He knows he's good enough to have that purple patch. We've seen it so often with him, hasn't we? So in the world, he played great in the World Championships despite that loss. 
Now, he's dressed as a pint, and as you see there from the little note, it says, my pint is 82 years old, so... It's probably the last one you bought, John. <laughs> Get that. It's a bit of the black stuff as well. It's a strange one, isn't it? I don't know, I quite like it. I meant the outfit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Averages are pretty much identical at this point, look at that. But 8-4 to Silivic, and his checkout's 57% as against 40% for Michael Smith. He's got to forget about everything that's happened and just try and really dig in, and that'll help matters. Six maximum. Well, he's going to get another chance. Similar position to how he was in the last Silivic throw. He couldn't take it out last time. He was on 125 before one now, hundred. on 130. Hundred. He's done it, he's hit this, let's see if he can do it again. Two darts at the treble. He needs it now for the ball. Ball! 99. Mad with himself. Well, 101. Sometimes has a, some strange ways of going for these checkouts. Let's see how he does this. Conventional. 81, treble 15 to leave double 18. He can't do it now, so Smith gets another chance. Well, we mentioned about taking these chances. He basically has to. And he does! 8 5. If he can hold throw, it will be game on. We saw Chisnell make that fight back in the middle of the match against Barney. Concentration issue for. Silivic, he can sense that he's close to that winning line, but he has to take each visit on its own merits. That's not the visit he wanted. Oh, he's just dipped a little bit, and Michael Smith will be very much aware of that. One hundred and forty. He he's still in the match, and if he can hold here, he will be fighting fit. If you're just joining us, you perhaps won't be aware that Dave Chisnell averaged over 106 and lost to Barney in the first match of the no, evening. Smith outscoring Sulevic here, but 8-5 down. He's averaging close to 103 and is 82. the pattern going to be repeated. You tend to get that a lot when you get two players of extreme quality because... The visits at the double are reduced. As Mensah gets number five in the maximum column. Oh 42. dear, that is not what Smith required. Sulevic, six from here at 181. Great first dart. He decides to stay up top, 100. and the ton puts him in the driving seat. That previous visit from Michael could be very, very costly. Big 20. Oh, they went for the big 20 and hit the double. A very big 20. 81 then for the break of throw. 16 would leave Bull. Double nine. A oh, Bull rather. He didn't get very near. So double 10. Well, after that poor visit, a couple of shots ago. He's now got a shot at the double to make amends. No, well, only just, but importantly, it's 8 6. Got away with it a bit there, didn't he, Smith? And you'll know it. Silovic, a little shake of the head, as much as to say, well, that's one which I should have won but didn't. And now the gap. Remember, it was 7 3 at the last interval. Now it's 8 6. And it's getting closer. If you ask Michael Smith to analyse his game at this moment, he'd probably say I played awful. But he's still averaging over 100, he's at six maximums, his doubles is at 40%. He hasn't played particularly bad, he just was so far behind, it didn't look likely that he was going to get back in the match. But here we are at 8 6. Second dart just kissing off the barrel and forcing it out of the treble. Crowd loving what they're seeing here, though. Very high quality darts here in Milton Keynes tonight in this first round of this three day event featuring the top 16 players in the world. Yeah, 
finished the big 16. 96. Michael was looking for a little bit more there to give himself an outside opportunity. It's Sulevic with serve. Oh, he wanted a he wanted a 25 there really, but he won't complain at the bullseye. Well, it's not it's not counted as a 170 finish if you're asking. <laughs> So 31, may go for three here. No, he goes double eight. Usually leaves us on double 14. Well, he does have a bit of time, but he'll be wanting to hit it as quickly as possible, as you can see. A little bit dismayed, but he knows he will return. So double four to hold his throw and go within a leg of victory in this first round match. Smith back on 110. Double four. Small adjustment. Oh, big dart now. He wasn't missing anything in the early part of the match, John. No. But here, this is an important last dart for Mensa. You can feel the tension up there on the stage. Look at this. Double four. The crowd sense it. And he's missed. Oh, from the look on his face, the angle seemed to be deceiving him because he kept trying to move and look and try and get round it, but it didn't happen. Ten for tops. Tops to get back in the match. That's what Michael Smith can do. Well and truly back in this encounter. We've got a great game on now. Once again. He's smooth as silk. Rhythm player, flair player, natural player. And he's right back in this now. He was the 16. narrow favourite when the match began, 5-4 to four on. And Suljevic, over the last leg or two, has looked as though he's really feeling it. And again, and again. Well, I was just going to say, Michael Smith doesn't want to undo all the hard work. He started the leg with 60. Mensa, as you mentioned, John, has really gone off his power scoring. Where better to be oh, than at the darts? What a what a beautiful moment! We've got love in the air, my dear. We've just got married. We're going on our honeymoon to Milton Keynes. Eighty-four. Which is though she's enjoying it. Who wouldn't? Great match this one. And it's going to be a close one. It could be a real nail biter right to the deciding leg. It's that sort of a match. Well, Barney in the first match led 7 3, didn't he? And it went to a last leg decider. This was 7 3. Commence it. And it takes 7. Look at those. Bit of a change in the stats. Eight out of twenty now. It was seven out of ten. Not so long back. And he's. Uh, we sense that the tide has turned here. One hundred. One thirty-two. The party piece. Never mind the one seventies. This is the party piece. Another one of those. Oh, he fancied it. He fancied it. Big, big visit now for Michael Smith. 80 required. Double 10. Oh, how about that? <laughs> he just made, when he's in form, when he's going well, he can make this game look so easy, Michael Smith. He almost doesn't have any thinking time. Yeah, they almost, like yeah, almost don't have any thinking time, do they? It's just that perpetual motion, the speed of the throw, and when the accuracy is there, it's lovely to watch. Well, we're back at eight apiece. Who would have thought that at 5 0 and 7 2? 82. Needed that cover shot, didn't he? Oh, massive, massive leg for Mensa Sulevic throwing first. It's difficult. When your opponents come all the way back at you, you have that negative thought process, but it has to be thinking, well, it's eight apiece, and I'm throwing first. Let's make sure I win my throw. I know it's not as easy as that. 
It's got to stay yeah, positive. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I'm getting at. That's the rational way of looking at it. Whether whether up there with the match slipping away and and Smith really on a charge. Whether he's able to to create that positive mindset, we will see. This is a good visit. Yes, what when I'm in the comms box, I'm very calm, John. Run him up there, I'm like a chicken <laughs> running round. <laughs> Oh, unlucky off the wire, I think, that one. And so, just keeping his composure as much as possible. He knows this is a big, big leg. Would put him one away. Look at that idiosyncratic little hand movement that Mensor has what before he releases the dart every time. It's what works for you. This could be a big visit. Oh, again, it's hit the wire and bounced out. Nod of the head from Michael. Good thinking as well in that I moment because he was obviously despondent with the bounce out, but he managed to keep his thought process in the right direction by going for the 18s to leave a finish. Great first dart. 16 to leave tops. Sulevic for 9-8. Yes, the rot is stopped. Well, he needed that big time, he really did. I mean, unlucky for Michael, he had two bounce outs off the board when he had a great first start and was following it, just came off the wire. But a great finish from Mensa. He's in one leg away. Oh, it's a great start from Sulevic, who's the favourite now. If it goes to the deciding leg, he'll have the darts, and he's effectively taken the darts in this penultimate leg here. Yeah, Michael not happy with himself. He knows he's fought really, really hard to get himself back in this match, which has been really, really good to see from a player who didn't have the best of seasons in the middle. And I was so pleased how he played in the World Championships. He's looked brilliant in patches well, like there. But it's just the whole picture has not quite come together for him this evening. Still got a chance, but Sulevic is the favourite. Well, Moving towards the checkout. Well, all in all, in any analysing, it was that first session that was the problem, without a doubt. Since then, he's played pretty well. His doubles have been just about okay. Well, this is for the match, and he's got six darts from 121. Might go bull, first of all. Oh, yes, he's got it. Well, treble 13 would leave double 16. He was almost hoping for a 25 yeah, there yeah, to definitely. go for treble 20, double 18. Yeah, definitely. And he's missed it. But he's got another visit. 81. All Michael can do here is try and fill it up. He's in six maximums. Can't get another one. Oh, sloppy visit. He covered slightly with the last dart. Is this here the we moment? Go. Is this the moment? Double 20. A terrific game reaching its conclusion. Wrong side of the wire. Now he takes it. Sulevich manages to get home. He was 5 0 up. Michael Smith came surging back. Looked as though he was going to take it all the way. But ultimately, Sulevich maintained his composure.